Today on a little segment called Garbage Charged, we're gonna look at 3D printing wheel spacers. You're probably asking yourself right now, Matt, why are you the way that you are? And uh, wheel spacers, they can be unsafe. Why would you make one out of something that's even more unsafe? Well, I got, a, I got an answer for that. A little bit of history on this car though. We've slammed an LS swap into it and done a Willwood disc brake swap all the way around front and rear of this car. Because I'm lazy, I just went online and found the first aftermarket wheel that would fit. Went full in on 20s because, you know, that that's just didn't have to measure it that way. The issue is I have a tingly in my rear end. And I know what you're thinking, Matt, that's your prostate. You should probably get that checked. I know, but I kind of like it. But I've always wanted to see this car as a sleeper with the original wheels and hubcaps on it. Unfortunately for me, 1963 was a one year only spindle. Makes, makes total sense. And then once I got those wheels, immediately, they smashed into the brake caliper and basically wouldn't allow anything to turn. But to solve all my problems in life, I got a hold of US wheel adapters. They make custom hub centric wheel spacers for anything you can make because they're, well, they're custom. Mind you, they do have some dimensions on file so you can just call up and say, hey, I got a 72 C10, hit me brother. They'll hit you right in the face. If you've got something custom with this level of garbage charge goodness, you can hit them back with a whole bunch of crazy dimensions they'll make you a wheel spacer for. In a previous life, I would just stack washers and then take the measurement and then hope it works with a tape measure. Not even kidding, that, that, that's not the way you should, do, you should do measurements for these kind of things. And after two or three trial and error prints where we dialed in the center opening of the wheel, the hub diameter, the actual spacing, the diameter overall of the spacer, I was left with an exact copy of what I needed. Remember earlier that I mentioned that some wheel spacers aren't safe or safety adjacent as I like to call it? Well, this is one of them. This is a universal wheel spacer. As you can see, it can fit uh, all the bolt patterns and has a giant hub that can fit four wheel drive hubs or the old Buicks that are giant on the inside where it counts. Can you 3D print a wheel spacer out of PLA plastic and actually use it? Well, I tried it on the front end and it couldn't support the weight of the vehicle. Even with 100% infill, she just kept smashing her down and. You could literally see the wheel wobble in and out as it was going around. But on the rear end, <laughs> we're moving people. I mean, it's not registering on the speedometer, but we are moving. This all take sketchiest thing I've done on a random Thursday for 300, Alex. The daily double. Great, great. So while a PLA wheel spacer clearly steams a good ham, let's step it up a notch. I realize now that this time lapse would actually make more sense in reverse, where I took off the factory wheels and hubcaps and put on giant aftermarket ones. Well, here we are breaking down barriers that, that don't even make sense. I've already installed extended studs and open ended lug nuts, so I didn't have to worry about the studs being too long or too short. I like to see one and a half times the bolt's diameter as thread engagement as a minimum. We can also thank Discount Tire for installing a shitload of wheel weights on the inside of my rim that stick on instead of the hammer on kind, but still using hammer on kind on some of the wheels and stick on the, the others, I guess. That, that makes sense in a world where things don't have to make sense. And since I didn't think I'd ever have to check for a baker's dozen or so stick on wheel weights on the inside of my steel wheel, well, it nailed my brand new caliper. Thanks, Discount Tire. Keep up the good work. So in answer to the question that Christopher Columbus first proposed in the early 1890s, Sailing the ocean blue glue? Yes, you can totally 3D print a wheel spacer. Should you? Well, probably not, but it is awesome to test out your measurements and see a mock-up of how your aluminum spacers will fit, especially if you're working with some really tight tolerances. And just remember you beautiful flowers out there, they're called pelicans, not peladonts. So if someone asks you, can you make a wheel spacer out of PLA plastic? You answer yes. Pelican could. Probably. And if you want to see some more things and stuff about this car and its projects, well, check out some of our other videos. We've been doing some sound deadening installation and then some decibel testing afterwards, some custom interior projects, and I'm just trying to wrap up and get some of these finished. I've never not finished a project. And for full frontier exposure reasons on this video, I have no relationship with US wheel adapters. They're just a solid company that didn't respond to my nudes that I sent them and a great product that was delivered really fast.